Hi everyone and welcome to All About Podcast. My name is Florante and today's video we're going to have another tutorial and this time this will be making use of Skype preview and at the same time recording your calls. If you're making use of Skype preview and you have Pamela call recorder, the sad news for that one is that Pamela call recorder doesn't work with Skype preview. Now, if you still would like to make use of Skype Preview, you're going to buy another software. And that software is what we're going to talk about today. And the name of the software is MP3 Skype Recorder. There is a free version, and uh, but you could actually just upgrade it. It only costs about 10 pounds. Right now, as you can see in here on my screen, Skype recorder or the mp3 skype recorder is already open i do have the 4.28 pro version and it's very minimalistic it's not like pamela call recorder if i'm going to put it side by side with pamela you can see the difference in terms of the features that pamela has which unfortunately is useless if you're going to make use of skype preview so there's personalization, there's birthdays, chat history, call scheduler, custom recordings, all the bells and whistles. And unfortunately for the past couple of days, I've been having some problem with Pamela. That's why it really made me think of making use of the Skype preview. And, you know, recording a Skype preview call is the first thing that got into my mind. So I did a quick search for a Skype recorder that's compatible with Skype preview and here we go this is what I found now let's go ahead and look first at some of the settings that you can see in here you have in there the on and off settings so you can turn it on and off um, the folder view in here this icon that has the folder and th that music sign this actually shows you the list of current recordings that was made so if I click on that okay so currently there are no recordings on this one so I'll just go ahead and minimize that one now there are options in here it says recorder launch options you will notice that this one becomes a clickable when you hover your mouse and if you click on it it will show you the option to start automatically when you start windows or you can start minimized so I just check on start automatically the second option is recording settings so on my recording settings my sample rate is 44,100 they actually only have two options in there oh, 16,000 and 44,100 so I choose 44,100 the bit rate I uh, choose <clears throat> so I just choose the highest for quality purposes and the mode I do have it on stereo mode so you can choose mono or you can choose stereo I choose stereo because I prefer to edit in two in multiple tracks or in two tracks for that matter now for notifications let me go ahead and close that for the notification settings so I do have the notification when a call uh, is being recorded so there's a pop-up alert and when the call ends there's also a pop-up alert so that's how simple it is to set this up and at the bottom of the screen for the mp3 Skype recorder you will see that it's monitoring my Skype ID which is ZLAV23 so that's the one I'm signing in right now and the recording is on okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a test call Skype test call and we'll see how it works and how the quality is in terms of the recording and then after that once we complete the recording I'll also pull up Adobe Audition and I'm going to show you how it works from the recording up until the editing or putting it into your audio editing software all right so let me go ahead and pull up skype preview now 
for the contacts, I'll go ahead and echo sound test. I'll go ahead and make a, s a call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hi, this is Florante and this is a test call for MP3 Skype call recorder. Testing one, two, three. Hi, this is Florante and this is a test call for MP3 Skype call recorder. Testing one, two, three. Okay, let me go ahead and end that call. So that's a 40 second call. Now you can see the alert on the right side of my screen. There's the notification. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and rename. Okay, so that's set. I'll go ahead and pull it up. I'll go ahead and click on the folder. So there is the test call. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to pull up my Adobe Audition. And there you go. Okay, and I'll drag and drop this in there. So you can see what it's like with the recorded version. Service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hi, this is Florante and this is a test call for MP3 Skype call recorder. Testing one, two, three. Okay, and let me just extract this to mono. Hi, this is Florante and this is a test call for MP3 Skype call recorder. Testing one, two, three. Now, you will notice that the quality isn't really good. It's, uh, it's not the best. Um, probably we can do better with this one if we're going to uh, do some post processing of the audio itself. But so far, if uh, it's only just a recording that you would want and you, you can just let your audio editor take care of it um, in the post-production process. Um, if you just wanted to make use of Skype preview, then uh, you can make use of the MP3 Skype call recorder to do your recording. So that's how to use MP3 Skype recorder to make recordings on your Skype preview. Thank you and I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or if you have any particular topic that you would like me to cover, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. You can also visit my website at allaboutpodcast.com and feel free to check out the services that I have in there. I do provide audio editing, podcast setup, and uh, transcription. Once again, my name is Laurenta and I hope you have a great day.